Now I'm heading into the hospital, uh, ready to work a, a night shift. As an internist, Dr. Cameron Webb treats COVID-19 patients at night. By day, he campaigns for Congress. Webb launched his campaign in Virginia's 5th District before the virus swept the nation. Now, he says, his expertise is more important than ever. And you're still also having to go and do your clinical hours and see patients, right? And I'm still getting to go do my clinical hours and see patients. I, yes. I love to care. I think it's so important. Well, I think as a physician, I have a really deep uh, respect for the science of everything. And, and throughout my career, we've been practicing medicine rooted in science. Lawmakers with medical backgrounds are scarce in Congress. Nearly two-fifths are lawyers, while just 16 are physicians. Of those, just two are Democrats, one is a woman. But Webb is one of a growing number of doctors running for office. While more than a dozen did not win their primary, nine did. Former White House doctor Ronnie Jackson of Texas is one. So is State Senator Barbara Bollier, running for an open Senate seat in Kansas. Has being a doctor informed the way you talk about this pandemic? And if so, how? I trained in the years of AIDS. I, I lived it and seen it and repeated it again. And I understand how important it is for us to stay healthy and safe. Bollier's opponent, Roger Marshall, an OBGYN, is one of the doctors already serving in Congress. His office canceled our interview at the last minute. But their contest between two doctors reveals how political science can be. We're winning the war against this invisible enemy. He's been going around the state, holding events, not wearing masks, being inside in large groups, not following science. It's incredibly disappointing. On the virus, only two-thirds of the country trust the CDC. Only 40 percent trust the president. Now that there is a pandemic, are you finding that those who are running for office are bolstered because of their credentials? Yes and no. I mean, in some ways, it's, it's almost more challenging for them because a lot of them are having to serve in their clinics uh, helping COVID-19 patients and not be able to put the time into their campaigns. But when they get their message out, I think people, we have seen that people are more receptive. Webb's opponent, Bob Good, calls himself a biblical conservative. He did not respond to requests for an interview. But at a recent debate, he used Webb's profession as a crutch. Our governor, another doctor, who we you know we know what happens with a doctor in charge of government here. We need greater transparency and upfront pricing and cost disclosure. You know, we go to the to to the, to the doctor, we go to a, a medical facility, and we don't know what it's going to cost us until we get the bill. Sometimes, you know, weeks and months later. If he won, Webb would be the first black doctor in Congress. A view perhaps more critical as COVID revealed drastic racial health disparities. In the 2018 election, voters cared most about health care. With COVID, it's on the ballot again. Uh, health care is definitely a top issue still. And I think that the way the most people frame it is the cost of health care is the top issue. So I think that people are feeling that in a very real way. And with the Supreme Court case that could gut the Affordable Care Act one week after the election, Webb insists doctors be part of the solution. We're going to have to be ready to, to pick up the pieces and, and build the American health care system the way that it's, it's fair, it's just, it's, you know, everyone has access to affordable care. That's the moment we're in right now. And so I just saw this as an opportunity for me to bring my expertise to bear. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.